All right, welcome everyone. Hope you're having a great Saturday morning, evening, night, wherever you're from. Just come to my attention that Chase Shaco has yet again tweeted about me for the 74th time this week. So I'm just gonna, you know, respond to that and uh, retaliate because it's been far too long. And crazily enough, I've done this before. We've already given Chase Shaco his uh, his responses that he's been looking for. But unfortunately, go to twitchtracker.com. You know, I'm not someone to ju judge by numbers, right? Sheer numbers. But it looks to me like Chase Shaco's career has yet again. We've gone from 2,000 viewer average to like 200. So times are rough nowadays, you know. It's hard as a leak streamer. You gotta live off someone else's name. Um, yeah, times are rough. So let's go to. I have to go to my my Smurf Twitter account because my other one is uh, blocked, unfortunately. So 23 hours ago, Chase Shaco tweeted: "Reminder that Charzen is the biggest loser on Twitch." So if we click on this, I uh, copyright strike this video. I didn't watch this video. I saw like most of it was uh, just of me, like from my stream. Like everything was taken from my stream. So he made a tweet that uh, I copyright striked him because he never asked for my permission to use any of my content on his stream. And I dislike him and he dislikes me. So in what universe would I ever let someone who dislikes me utilize my name, my content for his own, you know, game? Use If you go to YouTube, you'll see so many people who have used anything like regarding my content let's see tarzan playing versus tarzan and i never copyright struck any of these people so many of these people use stuff for my stream and the only two people and, my, and two and a half we'll talk about the the half later i've ever copyright strike were master fiend who's a known ghoster stream sniper reefer he quit the league a while ago i think and now t yesterday chase shaco because he used my entire Twitch stuff in his video. And then we'll talk about why I did it and how it's not comparable to Nice at all, which he used as a uh, an argument. But yeah, I mean, there is so many people I've used shit from my stream. I never copyright strike them ever. It's just, I don't like this person isn't like me. So why would I let him, why would I allow that to happen? So we're gonna go through his tweets and then we'll start the, uh, the debunking of everything. So first tweet is how incredibly insecure can you be at 30 years old? I mean, he, he's been, he's been going crazy right now. If we just click on this, it's been, again, he already tweets about me on a daily basis. Now that this happened, let's just say there was 37 tweets about me. So Tarzan age. Again, this is us. You'll see something, a very consistent pattern with what Chase Shaco does. He's a very emotionally unstable person. I am emotionally unstable too, but that's in game. Out of game, I think I'm a pretty cool guy. 28 years old. Chase Shaco age. 24. So it's really weird to me having someone four years younger than me bring out the age card. That's look, that's number one. So yeah, let me just uh, scroll down here. All right, we're going to talk about Chase Shaco supporters as well. There's a lot of funny stories. You've got fucking gambling promoters. you got woman abusers. you got, what else? Sorry, one second. Uh, pedophiles. There, there's a lot, of, a lot of fucked up people in his friend group. You're going you're gonna to hear about this if you haven't already. So there's like normal narcissists here saying that I've done this on my channel, which again, I've just reacted to people's YouTube videos. As far as I, I'm pretty sure the Agron thing was a YouTube video. I reacted to or Dante's someone had a YouTube video. I don't know if it was their twitches, but if they asked me to remove it, I would gladly remove it. I don't have issues with Agron. I think he's a great player. I don't have issues with Dante's. He's a, he's a good friend. And his Dante's will be uh, brought up on the stream later as well. So there's a couple more tweets I want to look at before we start the, the presentation. Yeah, I don't know why he. Uh... So I deleted this Twitter post because in my eyes, it's like. I'm already giving him what he wants, you know, his entire life is on Twitter, 300k impressions, it's, it's a good weekend to be Chase Shaco, right, this 300 viewer average might go a bit higher, so I deleted my tweet, I told my girlfriend, like, this guy's a loser, she's like, don't just do your final, your final response one last time for the, for the third time, and move on with your life, so 
there's a lot of tweets here that we're gonna like we're gonna get Dwayne on stream we're gonna get sure on stream i want to get glebe on stream today but unfortunately i don't know what, how to get a hold of him we've done that in the past as well we've actually spoken to glebe years ago regarding the yasuo thing that you also also skewed the truth about but again this video is not about any other people but any other attempts to show his true nature is immediately attacked with copyright strikes, blackmail, abuse from him, as well as his followers. He is the definition of a sociopath, a narcissist, and ultimately a cancer on the community that does not deserve a platform. Uh, I'm, I'm the doctor here, Mr. Chase here, the cheerleader, so uh, stay, in your, stay in your domain, I'll stay in mine. But, as far as this stuff goes, none of this is true. Uh, the blackmail thing we've debunked, the copyright strike thing we've debunked, which we're going to do again as well. We're going to watch the entire uh, the video he made years ago that he randomly brought up again. And sociopath narcissist, I mean, I think that's projection, which is again, the consistent pattern you'll see in a lot of these things. I'm about to debunk yet again. Uh, every time he calls me a social climber, question if he has any self-awareness at all. This is the dude that begged Tyler to join his team for Twitch travels to leech off him. Dante's stream blew up and suddenly Tarzan spamming content with him, but he, I'm the social climber. Uh, we got a response from Mr. Dante's here. I was always the one who asked to collab with Tars. I started spamming content with him before my YouTube or Twitch ever really took off. And it was actually through my collabs with him that my YouTube even took off the way it did. Gonna have to disagree with you on this one. Didn't know that, so my bad. It doesn't change what I've said or the fact that he is the most manipulative, unpleasant person I've ever encountered on the internet. Be careful working with him. This agony sees as a threat to his image or someone that he cannot gain anything from. He will not hesitate to throw you another bus. So, uh, the other person that we didn't really get to bring up on stream today is some. I didn't bother because I know he's not gonna care about this shit. So, just to give you, I hate to leak DMs, but uh, here's Tyler saying he's gonna first pick me. Here's me saying who we should pick for the draft. I first picked you, don't fuck this up. November 8, 2019, Shadow Dogs era. I got you, bro. Appreciate you putting your trust in me. I've changed, I'll prove it. But if you want to come calm so I can help you out with draft, let me know. So this is proof that this was for, uh, what's it called? Twitch Rivals. I've never leaked these DMs ever, by the way. And just in case Chase Shago says, show over, show over the, you deleted your logs. Here's uh, above it. Our last logs before this were Twitch gone. And I don't even know what this image is. So I never asked Tyler to pick me. So again, again, naturally, his uh, his go-to is lying, projecting, stretching the truth, and we're gonna see all of that today. So I think that's a good introduction to uh, start off with. Let's get a hold of Mr. Twitch's uh, Chase Jacobs PowerPoint. I need another uh, screenshot here. So this is proof I was gonna go over the uh, the video even before he posted it on his Twitter. I I told Duano I wanna go over this stuff because he lied about all this, and this was at 5 p.m. So if you do some math here, 12 minus basically at the at this, is this at the same time? 17 hours ago. Sorry, I just woke up like 20 minutes ago. Seven. Okay, so this is proof that this is two hours later, but after I told Doino, Dantes, that I'm going to go over this on stream. Just to show you that I have nothing to hide, I wanted to go through this video because it's so... There's only two really bad things in this video that I've already apologized for and I regret in the past. But, yeah. That's, uh... Get through the Chase Shaco PowerPoint presentation. Okay, I don't know how to. My shit is fucked. I like the title, though. Alright, perfect. So, I think there's a couple of comments here I want to go over. Well, not a couple. I made video 3. This is Mr. Chase Shaco on his main account. I made this video three years ago and posted as unlisted because I didn't care about attention, nor did I want the negativity that comes from this, his fan base. Today, I woke up to a copyright strike from Tars on my channel for a video I posted in fair use. Needless to say, I changed my mind. Good luck striking this one, little man. So there's a lot of keywords here. I really like, uh, want to retract that. Is that the word? Look, oh, whatever. Either way. Little man is one we're going to talk about later. And I'd be happy to take it down if someone decided to take back the copyright strike on my channel. I mean, like, isn't this actually manipulative and blackmailing? Typically, like, just to show you, like, the kind of person he is, he says that was about me, but he did the same thing. Sure, this is a quote-unquote bad video about him, but let's, let's see, let's go, okay? Hey, what's up, guys? Time uh, to start this shit. Chase Shaco here. I was 18 as picture. I'm Basically, I shit. created a, a little presentation for everyone, um, just to give you guys a little bit of perspective, maybe, if you didn't have it before, about why multiple 
high elo streamers, you know, content creators, whatever, have been um, maybe against Darzain recently. Um, oh, wow, this was three years ago. And most of the stuff in the video are like five years before, or like four years before? So like yeah, seven I'm years ago? I'm going to show you Six, seven, uh, I'd say. the situation it's that's a reminder. been going this on for the like last a few video years. Yesterday, so I think. Let's get into it, alright? Make sure you guys take notes as well. This will be on the final. So. <clears throat> Right, this is a clip recorded, and it was about me. One two five X so speed. Jump into yeah, it. he's a pretty slow person. People say blackmail them. They're f well, obviously, obviously Chase Shaker is a fucking social climber, so he wants to stand first round. Obviously, one of those hosts. I believe again. This is all vivid to me. Is that the word? It's like these are things years ago that I've all explained. It. Some things I I'm not hundred percent accurate on, but I know for a fact X and Y, and you'll see that. So I'm pretty sure this is after the Dom boosting stuff. I'm not a hundred percent sure. They don't come out because of fear, blackmailing. Where, 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 who? Where is it? Where's the evidence? But it, it. it's pretty sad because most of this video, except two things that uh, people provided to him, are pretty bad. Okay, well, slow down there. We're we're gonna get to it, friend. Gosh, so anxious to learn. <clears throat> Look at my Q times, okay, by the way. So. First things first, we're just going to start with uh, my friend Mo here. Um, he got Tarzan's, you know, what he tweeted at him. Why are you still talking about me on your stream and skewing the truth about everything that has been handled in the past? See, he likes to, he, that's his go-to, is just to say that the person accusing him or calling him out is just lying. Ironic, He's bro. We saw the DMs. <laughs> we saw the Dante's response. I paid Dante's, by the way. I gave him like 50% of my Twitch revenue to stand up for me there. Really big on that, which is I'm strange really because... For online crowd, for, for the most part, what I've noticed uh, is like approval, every single time he you. says stuff like this, all like aggressively, it's just not a lie. So, so Glee Blarbu then tweets me a picture of a knife and says something about TwitchCon, and I'm like, okay, yo, I, I ain't fuck with this no more. Glee, my fault. Bear in mind, I forgot to mention this: is everything in this video is in like a three, four year span since season six. So this was released three years ago, so like four years, and this is the worst stuff you could find about me. Bear, I, I don't even know how this is possible, but oh, yeah. Bro, we don't fuck with this no more. You know what Tarzan proceeds to do as my friend at the time? He makes, he changes his his name and donations, changes it to Glee Blarbu. As you can see through here, these are the donations Tar Tarzan has made to me through his name, and then he made me one through Glee's name, and said, I'm going to see you at TwitchCon and watch your throat. Tarzan says to me, gives me a death threat and donations, lying to me, not telling me it's him, and acting like leave to further incite the drama and i'm just like what you know what like what the fuck and then as you can see here okay so he basically death threats his friend all right so like i said we've gone over this y'all so and i at the time were very good friends i was a mod in this chat i made a very stupid edgy dark humor joke actually i think i i respond to this in the video he, he goes through my reaction and yeah i regret it i was you'll see i'm and most of this stuff are things I've never done ever since. I've matured as a person. And yeah, sure, I still play my team in game differently now. A lot less consistent, a lot better. But bro, this shit was fucking Skype era. We're using Skype in this fucking picture, you know? Like, it's Friend Skype no. era. Um, but it's okay because... I was 21, uh, 22, I think. I assume. Yeah. So it's fine. Um, these are screenshots from Tarzan Tumo. Um, I mean, he's, he, he is the victim here, because Mo was, was very much lying um, about these death threats, and I definitely don't have proof on the next slide that he wasn't lying, um, telling him he has autism, he's fucking stupid, because keep in mind, Tarzan is, is the victim in this scenario. Tar Mo is as far as lying to him, I don't remember about that. I, I'm pretty sure I told him, and we were friends, so I think he laughed it off. But then after years after, when the Dom thing came... That's when, uh, you know, it became a bigger deal because that's the quote-unquote dirt they had on me. You know, like, it becomes a lot worse when we're no longer friends. Him, and it's very uncalled for. He's trying to kill his streaming career, of course, yes. Uh, using the F word, using the N word as well. Um, so I just want to... <laughs> I just want to take a little break here and take a screenshot of what Mr. Chase Shaker looks like. V very uh, good-looking individual. Um... You're out on a fucking Saturday morning, tobacco, sitting down with the boys, 
chewing tobacco, shooting deer, playing COD. I don't think Chase Shaco has ever used the N word or the F word his entire life. Um, I'm pretty sure if you go on a stream right now, he could like swear on his entire family, swear on everyone in his life that he has never done such a thing. I would love to see that, by the way, Chase Shaco. Please go on your stream today and swear on everyone in your family's life that you've never used the F word or the N word when you look like this. And yeah, I'll respect you for that, but I know you have. And the difference between you and I is I can I can go ahead and admit that I've used it in the past when I was younger. I was a fucking loser. I was edgy. I was actually just reject, honestly. I was the definition of a fucking loser. And in the last six, seven years, well, since the screenshots uh, emerged, I'll swear on my family's lives, my parents, my mother, I've never used the F or N word in the last, well, you know? And I swear, God is my witness, these words have been erased from my vocabulary. I'm a 20 year old man. Yeah, I, I have better things and more important things to uh, focus on. But yeah, Chase Shaco, please go on your stream and admit you've never used any of these words. The difference between you and I is my shit's documented and you have nothing about you on the internet. Well, I'm sure people have, there's probably a lot of things you have hidden because of your friend group that we're going to talk about later. Because the people you uh, hang around are all very special people like you. But yeah, I am 100% on my mother's life. I have not used the F or the N word. Used it last week. Shut the fuck up. And basically, the gist that you will you'll notice the, the endless cycle is that. Then it was a different place back then. Yes, it was the norm, and then Whoever things have changed. It, and yeah, it's still not an excuse. Something. I'm not giving um, myself excuses. He, this is one of the really things in the video that I'm very ashamed of. That because I know this is not who I am. Thing as in the community will see it. Oh my god, and the Chase Shaco fans, twenty, aren't you thirty? One last time, bro, for all the Chase Shaco fans. Chase Shaco, twenty four. Tarzan28, your, your, your favorite streamer, by the way, just a little reminder. I'm the same age as your favorite streamer, okay? Move on. You're 12, I don't give a fuck. Move on. As in his viewers. I'm really see. old. Um, he gets really anxious about that. Um, it, it's almost like he doesn't want people knowing how he really is. Anyways, let's um let's play his his uh, point of view, his story of, of that same scenario with Mel. That's how I see it. But yeah, the Gleef story, yeah, I'm not going to lie, I went over this before. I did do that. And it was <laughs> right. really, Isn't that yeah, funny? Was like a, I've gone over this before. before. Yeah. Oh, it was just three years ago. I told Gleep he hates him and this stuff like that. I already bought, brought Gleep on stream. I obviously don't have a clip or a it or anything. But... Yeah, so if you're an OG, I don't know how many viewers we have right now, 1200. I'm sure at least one person in this chat remembers me bringing Gleep on stream and him taking my side saying I never... Oh, I'm not 100% sure, right? It was so long ago. But I know for a fact Gleep came on my stream, said I never incited anything or try to start drama with the the Gleeb thing and it was just a bad joke that i did in a bad faith when we were friends as you know an edgy dark humor stupid thing to do that's all i'm not 100 percent sure i'm sure one person in chat at least remembers a Gleeb thing on, on stream yeah i did make that donation as a bad joke I apologized to him and I told yeah, yeah yeah okay 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 so mo i'm apologizing yet mine, again but Tarzan is still the victim in this scenario because it was just a prank. So that's, that's fine then. Oops. <clears throat> We're gonna move on to one of my friend's Dom here. Um, this is just- well, His voice sounds really shaky and like unsettling as well. I think he sounds, he was anxious back then, imagine now. Damn. A couple things that uh, when Tarzan was exposing him for wind trading or what, all that bullshit, uh, Dom hit me up. He's like, yo, I literally have proof that he was paying people to, to try to get the, the scoop on He's a <laughs> to fucking use against him. Um, this is him. his ex-girlfriend, Monica. Um, he literally reached out to his ex-girlfriend asking to get a screenshot, and he will pay her for it. He's going to pay his ex-girlfriend for information. She told him to go see a therapist. That's uncalled for, Monica, and I totally agree. Um, oh, here's a good one. Yeah, so I don't know why this is included in the video. I don't think this is that bad. I mean, it's kind of funny because we were on bad terms, but I still offered her money to, you know, get what I wanted. I actually don't have this as a bad thing. Can someone explain why this is bad? So basically, I boosted Dom two years to Challenger because whether or not he was lazy or lacked the skill, I think he was lazy. Dom could have hit Challenger. Um, I don't have any issues with Dom. We follow each other on Twitter again. We don't really keep in touch, though. But yeah, she told me to see a therapist, but I don't really understand how this is like a bad thing. I asked someone for money or something for in exchange for money. How is this bad? I actually don't know to this day how this is a bad thing. If someone doesn't want to do something and I offer them money, am I, I'm bribing them, so who gives a fuck? So she could do it. 
But yeah, if someone can explain this to me, if Mr. Chase Shake, actually, you know what? If Chase Shake wants to come on stream and uh, get his attention and he's wanted for so long, I'm down to talk to him one, one time. But I actually don't know how this is bad. Maybe someone can explain this to me. She told him to go see a therapist. That's uncalled for, Monica, and I totally agree. Um, oh, here's uh, a good one. This is where uh, the stretching and misinformation and stuff begins. Now, for this, but unfortunately, I don't know this editor's Twitter handle, but I remember him responding to Chase Shaker regarding this, saying that he was wrong, but... Part of the presentation we were at Dakar, um, these are messages between Tarzan and Dakar's editor. Um, if you look here, he's asking him, why are you still uh, giving fake information, slandering me still on your video? For context, this, these messages are regarding a video that Dakar made, or Dakar's editor made, um, for Dakar to post about, about Tarzan wind trading. Right? He was going to expose Tarzan for wind trading. Uh, wrong. Um, which he did. Um, so again, I, I don't know why he's saying he's it's fake information and he's slandering him. Because keep in mind, slander is when um, you're saying something and it's uh, it's not true, right? It's essentially not true, or it, it's like he's just posting true information. And I'll confirm right here. Wait, but that was the cleanest like win trade ever. We just fucking queue up, same game, and <laughs> go free win. Okay, so Tarzan, um, you know, so you did confirm that you you traded. So this is again, just to be clear, this is not. Slander. This is just you don't like that he's showing it, right? Um, slander again down here. Not true. Um, the editor is being really respectful too. At the same time, he's just asking him honest questions, like <clears throat> you know what's going on. Um, I'm being nice and warning you beforehand so you don't get a strike. Uh, Master Fiend got a strike, but we're cool now, so I'll remove it. How kind. Um, if it's not removed and redone without my footage, then he'll just get a strike. There's no in between. Uh, so the gist of, of what he's saying here is, um, because I know he wouldn't blackmail anyone. Uh, he, he, that's really, yeah, no, he wouldn't do that. This is more of like a, like a dark. So again, um, Dakar and I don't like each other. Dakar uploaded a video about me, but the thing about this video is this wasn't a win trade video. I, I got caught. I mean, I didn't get caught. We're going to talk about it later. We're going to actually have, uh, Shura come on stream as well, which is going to be good because he has a lot of information as well, I assume. But no, this video was not the win trade video. Uh, again, this just shows Chase Shaco lacks a lot of, uh, What's what I'm looking for? Intelligence, I guess? Or like he doesn't really, if when he's emotional, he doesn't actually go and like get the context, but I've debunked this. Again, this has been so long ago, but I can confirm you this was not the win trade video. This was another video Dakar used from uh, my gameplay, my stream, whatever. Which again, if you wanna use shit from my stream, you can message me. If I have no issues, I don't give a fuck. When people like Chase, Shaco, and Dakar do this, that I don't like Master Fiend at the time, there's a problem. How long is it going to take? I don't know, at least an hour, unfortunately. I'm going to ruin your Saturdays and your weekends. I'm really sorry. But no, again, Chase Shaco, you're wrong. This was not the win trade video. I wish I knew this editor's handle so we could get him on stream as well so he could confirm. But I remember for a fact, I have a good memory. It's very uh, clear to me that this guy responded to Chase Shaco and said he was wrong. The person he got the locks from. He was being honest and truthful about it, unbiased. Gray kind of male, you know what I mean? Um, I would say. Again, bear in mind, we've done this like three times, so this is the last time. Bar none, this is the last fucking time. But, yeah, no, he wouldn't blackmail. That's, he's definitely not threatening to have his YouTube channel striked and or taken down um, because of the video. So, yeah, no, he wouldn't do that. <clears throat> yes, he, uh, Dakar is delusional, not you. True. Let's move on here. Um, oh, hey, what's up, Master? F oh, okay, you uploaded a video of yeah, four years later, you, and your channel got striked. Over, <laughs> wow. Uh, I mean, that's, that's fair from Tarzan, honestly. He was being attacked. He was the victim. Not only in the Dakar situation, but also here. Tarzan is the victim. Like, he lost a game. That's not fair. That is not fair. I agree. <clears throat> this is where things are, again, <clears throat> skewed. Uh, this thing about Master Fiend, I don't like him. I didn't like him at the time. If he took shit from my stream, I'll copyright strike it. So... Now, this is again where, again, Chase Shaco... Oh, this is actually where I bring up Shura, I think. Let's see if he's available right now. This is where the, uh... Sure, uh, he hasn't responded on Discord though. He messaged me five hours ago. <clears throat> Let me see. Well, we'll play it out and then hopefully he can respond by then. If not, we'll have to bring him later. Move on here. We got another scenario regarding the win trading situation. So, Ram is a booster, or sorry, was a booster for Tarzan at the time. Um, and he actually ended up being um, in talks with Dakar because Dakar was trying to get information from him. Um, to get proof that Dick, or Tarzan was win trading, right? Uh, basically, so yeah, all this happens. Tarzan finds out that he's like, you know, giving info to Dakar. Uh, friends don't backstab each other. Then again, 
Um, and basically what happens, he is, he tells him, I'm going to charge back all of, I've, all of what I've paid you for boosting. Um, if you don't pay me, I guess this number, which was... So, basically, my friend, my Chinese booster friend, got banned from the, uh, I should have let him speak more, actually. $1,300. Um, so yeah, he sent him the $1,300, so he didn't charge back all of it that he paid him for boosting, I suppose. Um, but again, keep in mind. Again, keyword, I suppose. Yet again, he's he has context, but he's not informed. So again, I don't know if that's like a comprehension issue, an intelligence issue, people not giving him actual context, or this is just the worst things he has about me. Zane would not blackmail, and there's no proof of him blackmailing. He would not do that. So let's continue. Okay, that was fast. Okay, basically, uh, I'm going to try to get Shiro on. He's not responding, but you'll see screenshots of him later on. Well, the force within with thing. They're like best buds. But my Chinese friend had every skin in the game. I think his account was worth at least $10,000 if, like, at least $10,000, right? And he was challenger, and I boosted him. And, like, sure, I wouldn't trade it a couple times to, uh, you know, guarantee not wasting my time. But when he got banned, I don't think, uh, with the amount of money he sent me over the years, I think it was, like, at least 10 to 20 I, I I don't know, again. I haven't been the boosting scene for a while. But I know he was giving me, like, 3 to 5 k a year, getting him challenger secured. So I have to pay him back. You know, it's not like this guy paid me all this money and I don't pay him back, I assume. I, I'm not 100% sure how much money he gave me, but I remember I have to give him some money back. Here I say, I, I make 1K as in I get $1,000 back at least from this guy who also participated in our boosting or win training. I don't remember. I don't know if, I know I paid him for a boost, but I told him he had to pay, he had to pay for the damages because he, he's the reason and this guy's a really weird motherfucker. I hope that that sure gets on. But I gave you a little uh, TLDR on this guy. He lived with the car. He was living on his couch. And he would tell us that the car's a fat fuck loser or some shit. Like, he was living on the car's couch in real life and shit talking him to us. I don't know if it was at the time, but I remember he was shit talking the car when he lived with him. So, he's like really weird. I, I hope that sure gets on because he knows a lot more about this person than I do. But, yeah, that's the T. I have to pay. I have to pay the guy for the damages. I'm not gonna say the person's name, but he, he lost like so much money on that, so I have to pay him a bit back at least. But besides that, yeah, this guy was like our friend, and then he was he was just like a he was another uh, power social clout chaser social reject blackmail, and there's no proof of him blackmailing. He would not do that. So let's continue. Oh, I thought this was just a, a nice little add-in here. Um, this was when he was playing... I don't even know what OQ... I knew, I knew it was competitive. It was, like, amateur league. Of I mean, again, consistent pattern. Chase Shaker does not even know about the topics he's discussing. He doesn't... <clears throat> sorry, my throat. He is literally just talking to talk. At least get informed. My throat. Jesus, sorry. I'm kinda, I don't know what OQ stands for exactly. He was playing with... Low Poly was a <clears throat> scorer, and they got in a disagreement, and he ended up rage quitting a scrim. Um... <laughs> just the bottom line dude. <clears throat> this is the bottom line and don't tell me to shut the fuck up ever again when i'm speaking when i could break your head low poly oh he sounds like a really nervous person and like very out of like look, look at how he's look, look at his demeanor here or his mannerisms <laughs> just the bottom line dude this is the bottom line and don't tell me to shut the fuck up ever again when i'm speaking it's pretty funny i could break your head low poly. i don't know how this is like even included in the video i actually don't even know Again, this is six years ago, six and a half. This was like a meme. And am I actually threatening to break low pally's head? No. Okay. Am I an edgy fucking loser at the time? I saw this clip too. Yeah. I was going to add in the video, but it was just kind of long and I, I didn't feel like cutting it up. <laughs> like they're trying to make call outs during a fight. They're like, they're trying to oh, communicate about the fight. He actually knows and a bit more just now. Like, Man, I'm literally like, fuck this man. I'm literally going to leave. And, and low pally's like in the middle of the fight. Like, yo, shut the fuck up. <laughs> Don't tell me to shut up again. I'll break your head. Huh, interesting. Okay, so again, to add context to the OQ thing, um, I was a lot less stable than I was at the time when I played League. k -Drill was our mid at the time, and he would literally never match roams for literally two caster creeps, 34 gold. I was 32 at the time, 30, 30 gold, right? <clears throat> and over the term of, like, the scrim block, I kept telling him, you have to move. You have to move or keep pushing, and he wouldn't. So, again, it's not an excuse. But I rage quit the, the scrim, 
came back later, apologized, and they said, nope, we're going with Nintendo Dex, and then they got fucking slaughtered by CLG Black. We would have won the whole thing, and we made it probably uh, 20000 each. I think the spots were at the time, we could have sold them, but yeah, that's what happened. I came back, I apologized, I said, sorry, they're like, nope, we're not going to take you back, and I don't blame them. You know, like, someone is unstable like that, emotionally unstable, and like, overreacting like that, they shouldn't, they, if they don't want to play with they don't have to. But it's just, why is this in the video? I don't even know how the this fight, is like- The fight, like, you shut the fuck up. <laughs> don't tell me to shut up again, I'll break your head. Huh, interesting. <clears throat> this is one of my good friends for us within. Um, this is where Shura would come in as well with the ram thing. Uh, booster slash wind trader, um, who trades with Tarzan. I don't know if Tarzan trades anymore, that's not even the point. We're just giving you a little bit of um, context here. Uh, Shura says, dude, Forrest has a cat, we have to kidnap his cat. Are you trying to go to Tennessee and kill this little shit? Tarzan says, we, we bribe him or what for the boys. And then he wants to kidnap his dog. Um, and if you want to just take a second to read testimony from Forrest on pretty much in agreement with what everyone says, um, Metaphor himself has also said something very similar to this. And pretty much everyone has come to the consensus of... All right, so if you know me, I'm an animal lover. I have two dogs or had two dogs. I, I'm the last person to abuse an animal. So... Was this a bad, tasteful joke? I mean, I don't think it's that bad. Kidnap his dog, it's a meme, because he loves his dog. But it's not like... Is this even a bad thing to joke about? Because this is like one of the worst things they have about me, is me jokingly saying we should kidnap his dog to make him feel bad. So I don't... I don't know why this is in the video. <laughs> I actually don't know. But uh, as far as harassing other people go... Besides me going to someone's stream after they intip me or were fucking loot, I'll take your cat Stardust. And shit talking them, I don't harass people, I don't really go out of my way, I don't really care. I have my circle, I have my loved ones, and I have my stream, my viewers, my audience, but I don't really uh, do anything else. So, again, this is, trust me when I say, like, I did some really bad, I grew up on 4chan. It's not a flex, it's, it's, it's a reject, uh, acknowledgements. Like, I was the biggest lowlife ever. There's so many bad things about me that could have been published. And this is one of the worst things he put in his 18 minute PowerPoints. So I don't even know what to say. But yet again, you know, it's Shay Shaco, he means Shaco. Yeah, he kind of just harasses people. If you try to do anything back, he is the victim in the scenario and he tries to do whatever he can to get whatever you're doing on whatever platform taken down. I would not be surprised <laughs> if there's an attempt on this video. Um, but I will. Open there was never an attempt on this video because I thought it was funny. Always have my PowerPoint. Even if I lose my Twitter, that's fine. Um, moving on. Uh, this is a high All right. Kumar, this uh, is the the one thing I look back, remnants. Is that a word? Remnants. And I always feel bad about this one because I remember I was on a I was on a boost and this guy I think he inted me like three games straight, and instead of just fucking moving on, knowing I'm gonna win every game anyways, I retaliated. And again, I re this is the one like this is the one thing in the video or second thing besides the, the n-word and f-word that again we've already established that i uh i very every time i see this i get i get like a sour taste in my, or bad taste in my mouth i, I feel, again i apologize to loopster several times uh, he never responded but you know Alan player i don't even know if he plays anymore but he definitely played up until at least last season i don't know if i haven't seen him in a while but <clears throat> he actually follows me on he tells Twitter me you're enlisted you're purposefully troll because you're <laughs> that's not weird. um this is a good one I'm, pre I'm pretty sure, I'm like 99% sure that's a racist term for someone like... Yeah, I grew up playing guns and, uh... Asian? <clears throat> I, I don't know, I... Again, I've, I haven't used the N-word, the F-word, this word, the C-word. Any of these words have never been brought into my vocabulary. Any of one of my friend circle, my loved ones, anyone who you will hear... Sorry, I'm like... I just woke up, but yeah. <laughs> I've never used that it, word. Um... He tells him he wants to end his life, and then he tells him to jump off a bridge, essentially. That's not very nice. Oh, you guys probably all know Tai Chi. Um, tai Chi is like the worst person I've added in this video. Yeah, these are, by the way. These are all... You, you can kind of just see um, a consistency in how he speaks to people. Yes, guns to duel. Whether it's... Um, I guns, Especially guns. if it's like, on social media or on stream where he knows there's an audience. Um, but... What was I got so excuses me, that I figured dollar. out like a, a little over a year ago was that bad norms for me. The same way, even in DMs, like even when there's not an audience, he he still speaks to people like they are all below him. So, 
Yeah. Give you guys a second to read through all this great, great stuff. So bear in mind, Tai Chi, someone who uh, nonstop was racist towards me. He would just spam, like, he would, in this Discord, he just spammed the N-word all caps, as far as I remember. Again, I'm not 100% sure. I remember this, again, this Tai Chi person's, like, actually crazy. Recently, over the years, he's calmed down, he doesn't really, he doesn't type. I don't know if I have him blocked and muted, or just doesn't type, but... Uh, I don't want to use the wrong word. Is, is this... I don't want to use the wrong word. Yeah, he's, he's this. So, he's racist, he's homophobic, or he just trolls and he's edgy for attention. And I was in his Discord, mocking him. No girl wants you, no team wants you, no one wants you, says Tarzan. So this is like years of him sniping me and then me just saying, bro. Oh, okay. Well, I guess you yeah. just decided that, or... Alright. <clears throat> that was nice. Oh, this was when he got banned on Twitch. Um, I threw in this Reddit post by Tarzan, just to add a little... um balance there to counter out this video so if you want to read through this and i'll just play the audio in the background no the dm is really bad and the nnf were bad besides that the video is a joke in my opinion that's why i was gonna go over it no matter what so this is when me and solo go play together and uh tai chi sniped us on stream and if you if you're an og you watched this game this was like pre uh, shadow dogs scrim block i don't remember which one but Tai Chi was literally intentionally feeding for attention, and if you don't believe me, it's fine. If you were there, you know he was. Sex with someone who the and should I have said these things? No. Have I toned it down over the years? Probably. Yeah, I think so. I'd like to believe so. I think everyone that watches my stream knows I'm, I'm a lot better and I'm improving daily. I can't believe how fucking retarded this human being is, Tai Chi man. He got two week banned. I'm gonna get you perm banned. I promise. Was in private Discord with Tai Chi to try and find old S's and Galaxy's yeah, really he racist. Is, oh, we don't need it, bro. We already know the guys are supposed to be banned. I agree. Does he not troll my team? He's not driven. Yep. So again, it seems out of context from saying he needs to be banned or he needs to be banned. Or I don't know what I said. Because he, he lost. No, Che Shago said he. I said I needs to be banned because he because he made me lose a game or he something. Deserves to be banned. I agree. Does he not troll my team? He's not driven. This is a reasonable reaction. So again, it's not just a gameplay thing. It's been years of gameplay, plus him acting like an actual disgusting human every time I see him, and calling me the N-word, calling me the F-word. That shit gets to me. Because again, I, I've moved on from that stuff myself. I, I, that shit's not in my, my existence. Even even when I was still flaming my teammates, the, those the words I would use are reject, failure, orphan, dog. I had some other bad things recently, but not recently. But you know what I mean. That I don't use anymore either. Because I understood the strength of those words. Good. Yeah. He trolls people in a video game. Okay. Um. Yeah. Just to make things clear, I agree. I should be banned. Oh, thank goodness. Wow. I that's I was so level 18 cool, that game. Holy shit, Jungle was okay. I've done said things far worse in the past without punishment. One of the first things I've read from you that's actually true. Wow. You sure fucking have. We just saw, like, all of it. We're not <laughs> all of it! it. My, my punishment length should Bro, definitely... he's such a, like, a old. nervous weirdo. Like, look, look, look at this. It's, he's, he calls... By the way, he makes fun of me for a... Uh, we're gonna go over Chase Shago stuff, where he like, makes fun of people being... Like, having social crippling anxiety. But look at this. First things I've read from you that's actually true. Wow. You sure fucking have. We just saw, like, all of it. We're not even done yet, buddy. My, my punishment length should definitely be looked at as my first defense ever. It should be <laughs> looked so at as weird, bro. But it's okay. You are now reformed. Fucking bad this human. Um, just thought I'd throw in some, uh, some other... Um, so again, this is other stuff that... Again, this person, Chimp NA, his name is... Fuck, what's his name? From the RuneScape scene. Starts with a Z. Fuck, I can't remember. It's been so long. Basically, this guy was, like, harassing me, like, sending me pictures of myself. But again, they skewed this stuff. So I found pictures of him at the time. Fuck it. What was his name, bro? There was a, a, a staker from RuneScape. I, Z Zor Zomor. 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 Chimp is Zomor from OSRS. He was an RW tier. He, he was a staker, whatever. And this guy was... I don't know why he was harassing me. I actually don't... I don't remember this. I remember this happening, but I remember, like, how did you guys know that? It was Zomor, Z-O-M-O-O-R. And he was sending me pictures of me, like, making fun of me and harassing me. And they look, made it look like it wasn't, like, a back and forth thing. It's just me going after him. Why the fuck would I do that? I actually don't know, but I know for a fact he was doing it to me.
So, yeah, I'm also Middle Eastern, so like me typing short Arab, ugly, fat, short Arab, I'm basically Arabic. Highlights of him. This is him to Chimp NA. It's a relatively high yellow. I think he's a like high diamond player. Um, he called him a, a ugly, fat, short Arab. He checked all the boxes there. Ugly, weight, and then height, and raise. Nice. <clears throat> uh, he, he's a big fan of myself as well. Oh, he says I full clear every, every game because I don't try to 1v1 him as Shaco or Zoloff. Interesting. So bear in mind, Shayshik and I were friends at the time when I was like bantering him as well. I don't know why this isn't a PowerPoint. This was like a, a we were following each other on Twitter and he included us in the video. I don't know, like what? Yeah, we have each other block. Why is this in the video? This is obviously an interaction between us. And harassing me. Down Again, here. over the years, my way of interacting with my friends and my close ones has changed. So like, it's, yeah. Hear more, but this is just banter every single time he does this. As long as you don't say it to him, it's fine. It's because this is just banter. Um, nobody knows you. You are a season nine product, even though I've been a challenger player since season seven. Um, true. Can't even hit challenger. I was challenger for about eighty percent of the season. By the way, isn't this obvious? This is a copy paste. Like, why would I refer to myself? Chase, shut the fuck up with your trash talk to Tarzan. Nobody knows you are a season nine product. <laughs> this guy is so low IQ in his own. This is his production. This is his presentation. I obviously was memeing and copy pasted what someone typed. Season, season nine. And I'm pretty sure me and Chase Shoku, again, were friends at the time. Or, you know, we knew each other. We knew of each other and we, we had each other modded in our chats because that's the, how the social climbing begins. Yeah, and the true. craziest part is the forest one. Look how long ago this is. Look at the check mark. I think Forrest within screenshot this with our first interaction ever. The check marks back then on Twitch were even more different. And look at how they are now. Just a little FYI. Um, not even relevant either way. And this is to Forrest. Uh, good luck in the future, random, and good luck getting past 60 viewers. Nice. Um, and then, uh, thankfully, for the 15th time, Tarzan has in fact reformed. Uh, this was during. <laughs> this the, one is. Uh, this one's funny as fuck, bro. Uh, Holy coming back shit. stronger than ever. I this one's good. This I'll make you proud, like you've done yourself and the Shadow Dogs. Proud to have such great community supporting them. I will always be here for you. So again, there's obviously a lot of jealousy in the Chase Shaco uh, segments. You can tell he's a very jealous person. Bring up Dantes. Bring, we're going to actually call Dantes or after on the PowerPoint if he's available. Sure has yet to respond. Yeah, he hasn't responded, so I can't really go over the boosting ramp stuff as well for his perspective. But we should get, if Dantes, you're here, I'm going to call you right after this ends if, if you're available. Like you have available. Thank you. Focus on yourself. <laughs> but I deserve a second chance that everyone does as well. Inspiring stuff, Tarzan. Five days later, you trolled and into it. Controversial, I think, but it's... Low Pally, or not, sorry, not Low Pally, Loco Doco has something to say about how many times he's reformed like as well. not a professional player, so it really doesn't matter. Oh, true. <laughs> 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 so it was like a solo key player that joined. Yeah, you can take a guess, Loco. Tarzan? How are you so smart? I'll remember oh what the God. context of this is, I can't really, uh... <laughs> I love how he's like... I want to play I'm every yeah, yeah. now. Like every, like three times a year, he's like, I'm reformed, guys. I want to go competitive. This is my year. <laughs> he's like, back to boosting. Peace. Yeah, I believe this is the third time. And so once 2019 swings around, it's going to reset. I mean, this new year, new year. Yeah. <laughs> Half of this shit was right, from 2019 so in this power this point. Bot lane. Yeah, that's why I don't understand, like... This is from 2019, 2018, he said. But, like, look at the date of this tweet. I don't really understand the point he's trying to get at. Can someone explain that to me? He's saying I never even reformed, which I think over the course, like, it's not a, a fucking one day thing. I wish it was. Again, watch my stream now compared to back then. Infinitely better, right? At, in terms of my attitude and how I, I do. I, let's freaking retard him in chat. Um, you get the point. Why, why is he saying this is from years ago? Just like this is as well. Like, what does that have to do with anything? Uh, no this is a future has, we're in. Uh, <clears throat> I don't know if I explained that properly, so, but you get the point, I think. As you can see, Tarzan is in fact, as he claims, the victim in all of these scenarios. And all of the people that have recently really turned hard, against him. Sorry, I didn't mean to close that. <clears throat> oh, I'm just going to close all that. Yeah, all the people that have turned against him recently are in the wrong. He is the best. Tarzane's Jungle Kingdom, signing off. All right, hopefully I debunked everything <laughs> that, uh, in that video. Now we're going to go over to the next topic. Actually, where's is Antas here? <clears throat> so
So again, we show the screenshots. I, I, I hate to leak DMs with, between, you know, Tyler and Dantas, but it has to be done, right? You can go in the VOD and watch that earlier. We showed that. I never begged Tyler to pick me. He DM'd me on Twitter. I told him I'll do my best. And then the Dantas thing, we're about to get his perspective on, again, we'll go through Chase Shago's Twitter if you have missed it. Oh, wrong account, sorry. <clears throat> Yo, how's it going? Yo, what's up? How's your weekend? Sorry about this. My weekend's shown, bro. I'm just uh, in the gym parking lot right now. Oh, well, thank you for your time. So it comes to my attention. I, I talked to you about this yesterday. Chase Shaco tweeted that... Uh, you can see my screen, right? Yeah. Every time he calls me a social climber, I question if he has any self-awareness at all. This is a dude that begged Tyler join his team for Twitch travels to leash off him. Yet again, not true. Dante's stream blew up and suddenly Tarzan is spamming content with him, but I'm the social climber. So I saw you tweet, but I just want your like perspective. I want you to give me the, the day one, our interactions, because I, I know I didn't like you at the time, or, like when you were like a diamond heck for a mid lane player. I know I didn't like you. I know you didn't like me, but like we weren't really like, we haven't really acquainted or seen each other that much. So I just want the, if you could give us the rundown from zero to, to now, if possible. Yeah. Um. Okay. So. Our first ever interaction, I don't know if you actually remember this, but it was like, I think three years ago now when I got banned on Twitch without an email uh, because I put a water bottle in my pants and I was like walking around pretending like it was a boner. And then I got banned. They didn't send me an email. So then I was like, oh, yo, Tarzan, can you help me get unbanned? I'll give you $30. Do you remember that? I remember you. Asking to get unbanned, DMing me, but I don't remember why you got banned. Yeah, yeah, because, yeah, so that's why, and I was like, yo, can you, like, <laughs> message someone from Twitch? I'll give you $30. <laughs> no, what happened? What did I say? You just said WTF, and then you didn't help. <laughs> <laughs> well, the good news is, I help you nowadays, bro. I do my best. Yeah, no. But yeah, no, so that was, like, funny. But, um, no, so that was, like, the first interaction. And then after that, I think the next time we started talking, because uh, I'd asked you for like um, coaching, I think a few times. And then afterwards, I think it was just like randomly on stream one time. I was like, yo, do you want to like coach me? And then you said, sure. And then we started like uploading it to YouTube and and started doing like really fucking well. So then I would always, like, ask to, like, do duos, like, coaching, stuff like that. And then that was, like, the main thing that actually, like, blew up my YouTube. Because, like, before my YouTube was just, like, whatever solo queue stuff. But then afterwards, like, with the coaching stuff, that's what, like, blew it up. Yeah, so... Basically, we started collaborating for both benefit. But it was more from you asking me rather than me begging for you and sucking your cock and oh my god Dantas has twice my viewer account now i need to beg for him he's the biggest na league streamer content creator we just happen well, I mean, to mesh sorry go ahead yeah i mean like even to this day i don't think you've ever actually like reached out to me first and i don't think you've ever been like yo uh let me coach you like i i swear i don't think i think whenever it's been any kind of duo content it's always 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 been me reaching out first every time the one thing I do reach out first, though, is to hang out in real life, and you never want to, so yeah. I guess I'm just socially awkward, as, as uh, <laughs> Tay Shaco would say. Maybe next time, bro. But if you want to chill in, in the future, let me know when you're done with your uh, side woman. I don't have... The, the only side woman I have is my voices in my head. And your stuffed <laughs> animals and Lulu and all that, right? Exactly. But yeah, but yeah no, um, I'm actually down this week, though, like, Probably like Wednesday, Thursday, something like that. Yeah, for sure. I don't want to take up more of your time. I appreciate you coming on stream and everything. I know it's your weekend. You're at the gym. Life is hard when you're a content creator. I got to go through this shit yet again. So, sorry yeah. to bother you with that. I got you. I got you. So, unless you want to tag along, but I know you have better stuff to attend to. So, I'll leave you. Be tag there. along? Wait. Do you well, want to, well, well, what? You want to be a part of this when you're, you're not busy? Uh, I mean, I'm, I'm trying for a bit. All right, like, cool. I can that's great. Because like yeah. there's a couple of people I want to talk about if you have experiences with them. But, uh, <clears throat> okay. I should start the next topic right now. Let's, uh, let's, uh, 
let's skip forward with the uh, the knees thing for now and uh, this stuff. But skip this friend group. Okay, I know you have some intel on helicopter as a person. I want you to talk about if possible. Uh, <laughs> I mean, the only intel I have on him is like the stuff you were telling me about how he tried releasing this like crypto coin once. Um, <laughs> and it was like a rug pull or some shit. Mm -hmm. Uh, any yeah. social climbing from his end? Does he ever come in your chat and like beg for your fucking attention? Please, bro, get on voice call, duo. Let's make a video together. Let's make a podcast together. Anything like that would make him seem as a social climber. Well, okay, so the the one weird thing about Alicopter, right, is that uh, in the past, there were times that I would like reach out to him. And this was like uh, for the Dawn Test race, I'm pretty sure. And when I would reach out to him, uh, he wouldn't like respond at all or anything. <laughs> and it's like left me on delivered for like days and shit when I was like trying to like, get the actual roster set. And then once I actually got like big names, like once it was confirmed that like Yasuo was doing it, uh, Tepley was doing it, like everyone was doing it. Then it was like one day before that he, I think he just randomly reached out and he's like, yo, bring me on. Like literally one day before when I was like reaching out to him for like days and he was just like leaving me on delivered. And then I was like, no, I can't. Like, it's way too late, bro. Um, and then besides, I mean, we've never, like, talked. We've never, like, interacted. Nothing ever like that. But he's asked me to do, like, some, I guess, like, collabs recently. Like, Discord, VC, stuff like that. I don't know. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. Alicopter is a good player to play with because he plays for Jungle Permanent Roams. But as far as his track record goes, he's, <laughs> again, you are the kind of person you revolver sound was that the word revolve yourself around or i guess interact hey, this is someone in chase shaco's shit like friend group right hashtag cancel tarzan go to twitter <laughs> not many people know about this this was a year and a half two years ago i guess almost now oh fuck my browser's not working but basically helicopter scammed his viewers people got scammed by him click on this wicked post on twitter and i mean yeah do that as far as helicopter goes I've banned him like three times from my chat because he always comes and tries to social climb off me in my chat. So again, I don't have any, I don't have issues with the guy. He's just a social climber and a scammer. Like again, <laughs> sure. I, I, don't, I don't, there's not much more to add. I want to talk about the, uh, so if you go to Twitter right now, from Chate Shaco, just to put things in perspective, right? I just want you guys to know uh, that this is like a recurring thing that this guy tweets about me on a legitimate daily basis. Right for years now, um, I've never in my life. I've done internet since I was. I think I was playing RuneScape since I was like twelve. Right, I've never had someone this obsessed with me because if you just search my name on this guy's and this is only with my name. He's posted videos without my name. He's posted images. I assume. I mean, recently I think he, he posted a doctor picture of me that was. I got like five thousand likes. 6,000. Holy shit, I'm famous. But yeah. <laughs> the guy, like, if you go to his Twitter and scroll down, you will find so many tweets about me. But the sad part is, if you do from Tarzan, let's just put Chase. I mean, let's put Shaco. Again, I made a new Twitter and everything, like, years ago, when the Shadow Dogs thing happened. But I have not tweeted about this person or ever wanted to interact with him or ever bring him up. In my life, it's my family my loved ones and my circle and my audience right dantes would be in the circle uh perspective of my life right i don't care about these people but they are so obs like well this person in particular is the most obsessed person i have ever come across in my entire life and there's a couple of things here that like that are really weird to me well let me just read this over. Please stop asking if I'm going to box Tarzan. A random screenshot taken out of context from two years ago doesn't change the fact that his crippling social anxiety would never let him step into a ring with me in the first place. Well, first of all, Mr. Chase Shaco, we've heard your uh, your mannerisms in the video you made. You're a very <laughs> anxious person yourself. And as far as me being socially anxious, I'd say, yeah, I'm a, when I meet new people, I am anxious. I don't know if this is like him being told about when people meet me or met me how I acted. But I would, oh, I would fucking love to, bro. Again, I got a couple pictures to go over here. One second, let me see where they're at. Oh, I think they're on my desktop. So 
bear in mind this is a guy who non-stop calls me little man in the remember when i said i'll talk about the little man stuff i captioned this one 510 so i can set the far right this is chase shaco so unless all of his friends are 6'5 um looks to me like <laughs> he's not that tall himself so i don't know if it's like a projection thing because again i'm not a tall either i'm 5'11 and three quarters 5'11 and a half i just rounded up to six because i'm insecure but i can't be this insecure call people a little man on the internet on a consistent basis when i'm literally five foot six lying about my height on the internet so uh there's a couple more here i want to look at but bear in mind this is a really funny picture to me because force within is like six one six two acadian is like six feet and what universe is chase shaco on the same length of all t both of them so he's stepping on something. He's on a, a fucking ladder. I don't know. He's he's on something right now. That's how insecure he is for this picture. I wanted to bring this up. There's another picture I found on his Instagram where it looked like he was stepping on his tippy toes, but I wasn't sure. So I'm gonna bring that up on stream as well, actually, because I don't. I want you your guys' opinion. I actually don't even know at this point. <laughs> give me a second here. But these guys are both six. Like, just to give you a force within height. This Tyler is uh, five six, five six and a half. Force within is a pretty tall guy. So yeah, I don't know why we lie about our hundred internet, bro. But people have seen you. Also, I noticed Chase has no media attached to his Twitter at all with him next to people in real life either, Mister uh, Little Man. I mean, so I think this I have to like you know go through my his uh, public Instagram to find this. Where's this picture where he's standing next to this girl? Looks he's on his tip his tippy toes. I'm not sure. I, I think I lost it. But you get the point. He lies about his height and calls other people little men. I don't know why. <clears throat> All right, next person to talk about. Again, you are what you... The kind of people you interact with and like have around yourself is what you are, right? Because that's the kind of people you want to associate with. A Blaze Olive, a, a personal fan favorite. Not many people know about this, actually. The issue is, I forgot the name of the girl. I think I Love You Sweetheart is her Twitter, I believe. <clears throat> oh, I found it. This girl, years ago, uh, dated a Blaze Olive. And I don't know. I, I spoke to her at the time on my alt Twitter. <laughs> E-daters, all GG. But she basically got abused and cheated on by a Blaze Olive. Is the, uh, the TLDR. And she didn't expose his name in the tweet. She said a player, a pro player or whatever. And not many people know about this. But yeah, Blaze Olive is a very bad person. I don't know the 100% details. But I don't know his perspective. But I just know he's a fucking weirdo. And let me, again, these are just people that have like tweeted recently. Regarding the uh, cancel Tarzan for the 5th attempt. He's a really bad person off league. What the fuck is wrong with him? I mean, ironic, bro. You abuse women. So, who else we got? We have the gambling promoters, and we got force within y'all. So again, I don't have issues with these people anymore. I've moved on, but they unironically extort their audience for money. So like that says enough about them. And then this is my the most fucked up one of all. I don't know. Do you know Super Metroid Dantes? Yeah, he used to like uh, he he used to like be in my chat a lot and stuff. <laughs> That's fucking weird, but one second. I should have this uh, copy pasted, but I scroll down. Was... Yeah. Go ahead. Because like he name changed like Zadivert, right? And then yeah. like when he name changed his Zadivert, he would like type in my chat sometimes and shit. Yeah, Zadivert, you're right. I so he's still in the scene. I I've seen him a couple of times, but basically, again, I assume there's another Chase Shake uh, sucking my dick tweet. Where he's interacting, unironically, with Super Metroid and is probably... This guy got exposed as a, you know, predator. Messaging underage girls and then he got cancelled and got fired from his job. People, like, ruined his life. But, I mean, he kind of ruined his own life. But... Yeah, that that's his friend group. And then we went... I mean, we went over most of this stuff. I don't want to take up anyone's time, but... If there's anything else people on stream want to bring up about me that you want me to respond to, despite everything we've gone over today, I'm sure there's a lot of different things that are a lot worse than I've done in the past that I would love to clarify, debunk, or explain from my perspective. Is there anything, Dantes, that you see from me that's like, I need to get this off my chest, or I'm a, like, I know you had the Avani thing, right? And you've gone over that. That, that was like your only really bad thing, or, or I guess, it's bad, well, but it's not like career ending bad, but you, you've been in the same position as I have, I, I mean, just a lot less. Yeah. 
Yeah, because that's the only thing is that I feel like every time that you're starting to, like, get higher of your account, you're starting to, like, make it whatever, people will always just try to dig up whatever they can on your past. And that's why, like, the one thing I've learned is that if they always have to default to things that happened years ago and they can't point to any, like, recent events, then it shows that either A, you haven't done anything in the past or anything in, like, the past little while, which, like, displays change and stuff like that, or B, that they're just bringing it up out of, like, jealousy, stuff like that, you know? Right. Have I ever used the N-word or the F-word in any of our conversations, be it IRL, online? Be honest about this, by the way. Have I ever blackmailed? Have I ever extorted you? Have I ever done any of these things that this guy says, that let alone have I not done in the past, have I done these to this day ever to you or anyone that you've seen me do this with? Because I'm no. actually curious. Really. The no. worst thing the worst thing you ever did was cheat in Catan. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, you're actually good for your first game. I actually was surprised. You should yeah. play again, though. That was fun. But yeah, I yeah, appreciate it, bro. Because end of the day, like, it's this is not about Chase. It's more about me. I want to be the best person I could be, both for myself, my loved ones, my girlfriend, my family, my friends, my audience. And having someone just bring up the past that has already been clarified on, that I've moved on from, I've matured as a person. I'm still working on the uh, in-game stuff. But the out of game stuff, I'm I'm content to say like it's just not even, it's not even there. So, it just sucks that it, to this day he just continuously says these things about me. I'm a sociopath. I'm a narcissist. I I'm gonna throw people under the bus once I can't get views off them. It, it's just, it's just really sad to me. But either way. I would assume that's most of the Chase Shaco uh, saga that I want to go over. I want to talk about the, the niece copyright thing because that's like, it's not that much time either, but it is, again, not really comparable. But is there anything else people want me to debunk or talk about that I've done that's been controversial? I have like a 15 second delay in case I leak anything. But again... Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if this happens again, by the way. I, I wouldn't be surprised at all if in the near future, Chase Shake... Like, again, I'm not going to lie. I do, shit talk, I do shit talk Chase Shake when I play against him in the league. Why? He's a one trick. Do I not shit talk? I have run OTPs, new new OTPs, Shake OTPs. Should, should I not shit talk them? Probably. It's just I think one tricks suck at the game and they suck at jungle. So I'm a sore loser. I'm first to admit, I am a sore loser. I'm very, very competitive. And I showcase it the wrong way. There's no BBL allegations. There's no Botox. <laughs> if Chase Shaker wants to box me, by all means, we could fucking hook something up for charity. I mean, he probably wants money out of it. But as far as I'm aware, there isn't anything that has happened between that PowerPoint till now, except me calling people fucking loser, orphan, reject failures. I don't think there's anything else. Erectile dysfunction. Yeah, so that was actually another person that um, had that issue, and people were trying to use it as me. Just like the screenshot where this guy asked me, do you buy club tax? And I typed, yeah, what you got? And then he, he edited the message to CP instead. Yeah, it's just another, uh, you know. <laughs> fake situation people want to i mean it's, it's actually rather the stuff happens nowadays that people like fabricate things about me because i think they've moved on or they've gotten older and now like my audience is the new generation but there's a lot of a weird a lot of weird people in this world unfortunately all right well that's it. i'm just gonna get going then yeah thanks for your time bro sorry about this by the way if you want to chill this yeah. week or do anything together just let me know sorry I'm, I'm, I'm gonna beg you to collaborate in real life and online now starting now so yeah, <laughs> yeah. have a good weekend bro take care yeah, because that, that's the hype thing uh yeah but before i go right yeah. so the, the hype thing is that if we meet up in real life then you can like beg me for collabs and there's no like paper trail now i'm gonna hold you by the fucking throat you're forced <laughs> to work with me now See you, bro. Nice to see you. Take care, bro. Have a good one. Bye. Yeah, unfortunately, uh, sure is not here, but thank you to Dantes for taking time out of his weekend to uh, give the social climber the attention he so deeply desires. But anyways, talking about the actual copyright strike with Nice. So, 
Nice copyright strike me for watching his YouTube videos. I never watched his stream on my stream and everyone can vouch for that. I said, I'm scared to get copyright striked, but Nice was abusing the system where he was using me watching his YouTube videos as copyright striking. So I don't know, that's, that's more of like a subjective thing. Do you think that's actually stealing people's content? If it's through stream versus YouTube? Cause it's not like I sold the entire thing. He sold the entire game from my, my Twitch POV. So again, I think that's a subjective thing, but Nisa and I are good. I mean, I wish him nothing but the best. I have no problems with him. Hopefully he can recover from his real life stuff going on, but I don't have any issues with Nice. This is the only person on the internet in my entire life that I've resorted to actually retaliating against and responding to, because I don't typically don't care when all these things are added out of context, misinformed, you know, it's just a lot of lies and like not, he's just not informed enough about the stuff he's portraying me as, you know? There's just so many things that aren't real that are just him projecting and just speaking out of pure jealousy, hatred. Because yes, you're gonna, if you watch my stream, you probably don't like me because of the way I act sometimes. But if you've ever interacted with me in real life or online, I don't think... I think if anything, I'm a, I'm a really nice person to hang, like, have I had any editors in the past come out and say, this guy fucking scammed me, this guy, oh sure, I actually responded. So, I'm not going to reopen the PowerPoint, unfortunately, here. If he, uh, responds. Pretty much, literally gonna lot. So yeah, all this happens. But yeah, remember, th this is Chase Shaco's friend group, right? <laughs> Dantes is a dumbass, but he's a good kid. I'll be honest, he does some stuff with girls on the side that I don't really, like... He's, he's, in his, he's a fucking 21-year-old kid, you know? Like, he wants to have fun with girls, sure. I told him that his love life is... That's his, his, his life, right? I don't want to make it public, but he can do whatever the fuck he wants. He's not cheating on girls. He's not abusing women. He's just having fun with girls, right? That's the only thing I just, I don't dislike. But I think it's like, you know, he, he's a kid, right? All right, I'll talk culture right here. Yo, how's it going? Yo, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. So I'm sharing screen right now. So thank you for taking time out of your day to do this, but Basically, the Chase Shago thing has been brought up yet again. Years ago, you and I used to boost together, we used to win trade together. You can see my screen, right? Yeah. So, the name of the person that got banned, again, just give me your unbiased perspective. Be honest about everything. Don't, you're not here to, like, kiss my ass. Just be honest, right? The person that got banned was my, my Chinese booster, or boostee, and I had to give him back some money regarding the banned account. Is that true or false? uh yeah so i mean i'm just gonna explain the story i remember i mean this was like 2018 or 2019 or some shit um ram hit me up and he was like yeah i need to like if you have any boost let me know so i messaged you and you knew about the the chinese i'm not gonna say his name but like yeah the chinese uh person so i gave or like i told ram to like message you and then he like pretty much we just like boosted it and then it got banned and then i remember the chinese guy was super pissed and he wants the money back so you were just like yeah i need i need you to give me the money back and then yeah, yeah. And so like this the, the screenshots kind of out of context yeah so this was all in the crossfire of the account getting banned basically and also to put things in the perspective this ram person if i recall are, are you friends with him still no i haven't talked to him in like so, three years I remember he would, like, he told us he lived with the car, like, on his couch, right? Yeah, remember that? I remember, I remember he said uh, the car bought him a computer or some shit, because they were, like, close. So, uh, he pretty much, like, <laughs> I mean, it's like, kind of when you leak the, the screenshot, right, like, the group chat, he kind of did that, and then a lot of it was, like, out of context, uh, especially with, like, the <laughs> kidnapping the, uh, yeah, I was the gonna cat or whatever. bring that up. Uh, as far as Ram goes, I remember him saying he was shit talking to Car to us. Do you remember that as well? They call him a fat lazy. Yeah, he was. He was. Yeah. So it just goes to show this person is yet another parasocial, social climbing weirdo that did all this for attention. And 
I mean, yes, win trading. I I would. I don't think you do that either. I don't know if you boost anymore, but no, nah, we've like moved on from this. It's just a chapter of our lives. Well, we used to yeah, be yeah, it's like 2019, 2018, but yeah. yeah. I mean, boosting is probably dead. I mean, the rank one players of advertising. I don't know if it even makes money off that. Either way, uh, now I want to talk about the uh, kidnapping dog thing. So this is you in a screenshot saying, "Dude, force has a cat. We have to kidnap his cat." So you want to clarify on this? <laughs> I mean, it was much so just. Uh... You know when you're like just like angry? I mean, like you you lost out on like a few thousand dollars. Obviously, like you're just gonna be mad and just say stuff. I was also like 18 at the time, so I mean, nothing actually uh, ended up happening about his cat, and I would not harm any animal. It's just like when you're like frustrated, you know, and you just take it. It's kind of taken out of context because you were just mad, and we were just like, you know, just talking about it, but. It's not like we would actually. Uh, yeah, I don't think harm either of us would ever yeah. harm animals in our lives. So I, I never yeah, have. I never a lot will. of the screenshots were just like a long conversations of like for like weeks, right? And mm -hmm. then it was kind of just taken out of context. All right, pretty sure, bro. I don't want to take out much more of your time. You said you're busy, so. Yeah, I mean, if you have any other questions, just let me know. Oh, uh, no, that's just, just the ram thing, like, it's just showing what a disgusting weirdo he is, and the animal thing, that, yeah, so, yeah. sorry about your yeah. wasted five minutes to re-clarify these things. Have a good one, bro. Yeah, from, like, five years ago. All right, take care. Take care, man. Later, thank you. Yeah. So, again, I wish we had Glebe on here. The, this guy said, calling Mo at retarded N-word. So, again... Not many people know about this. I don't want to bring this up about Yasuo, but Yasuo, there's a reason he made a new Discord account because he had a lot of stuff on his first Discord account that he didn't want to go public. That's why he just started over once he got popular. And I again, I'm not 100% accurate, but I know there were slurs exchanged between us when we were friends. You, you guys never speak to your friends like that back in the day? When I was, when I was younger, I called my friend the F word. He called me the F word. So, things have changed. I've moved on from that. We've gone over this again. I thought the sand N-word was like a Middle Eastern thing. That's why I said it. My real-life friend would call me. Again, not excuses. I, I've, I've been informed on the topic. I'm like Chase Shaco. I learn about things, and I absorb information and go from there. But it's not something I, I've ever done or ever will do again. So... Well, you guys are are growing up in a different generation, right? And my back in my day, like, F word was like, you get one, you get one. It's at three minutes. Dumbass, we've gone over this. Go in the VOD and shut the fuck up. <laughs> I know it's your second message in the chat, buddy. Go watch the VOD. I've gone over all of this. It's been, what, an hour and a half? An hour. If, yeah, I don't want to drag this out too long. I was going to stream today, but, like, I'm just going to go uh, focus on myself and reform for the 47th time. I'm actually just going go to go to the gym and shower. And tomorrow we should have a long stream. But besides that, I, hopefully I debunked everything. If you guys, I can't get Glebe on here, unfortunately. I have no way of how to contact him. But if there's anything else you want me to clarify on, then uh, feel free to ask. Tarzan Age Keck W. Oh, fuck. Chase Shaco fanboy. With your sub for 11 months. What does his Tarzan age me? I'm 28. He's 24 calling me old. How's that even allowed? I don't know he's 24. It says it, but I can't. Poop pants allegations. I have already brought this up. But I had boxers that were old, 10 years plus, and they probably had stains or something. And my ex-girlfriend, my first girlfriend ever, used that to, I guess, paint me as a bad person. I'm, like, how the fuck would she have access to my boxers? Can Stardust, I mean, I don't, maybe I've shot myself and I, I put it in the, you know, the laundry bin. Maybe Stardust knows if she can clarify on the, I don't know. I've only dated three girls in my entire life, so... I don't know if the, the the second one or the current one have ever experienced me shitting myself. I 
I mean, I'm, I'm honest, bro. I, I grew up in a poor house. I held, I kept the same boxers. And now, luckily for me, I'm very fortunate and grateful with the position I'm in. So anything else? Poopy pants can't confirm. Nice. Okay, I shit myself. Am I a bad person? I'm trying to fix it. Sorry. <laughs> Any other screenshots or things? Oh, yeah, Alex exposed me. Can you do a community stream with the mods and stuff while I'm off? No, sorry, you are worthless. I'm sorry, Alex. I hate you as well. Those are all of our interactions. Um, my bad. Anyone want to talk about any interactions with me? Address it. Are you making banana allegations? Yeah, I'm a really sore loser. He plays Ivern and shits on me every game. <laughs> that's that's the situation. I blocked him on Twitter because I'm petty and I'm a loser. Yeah. I mean, I, unblo I unblock him if he wants. I don't really... There's an, I have no problem with Garbo can I have no problem with Jamaican Banna. I have no problem with Pentalus. I just hate playing against them some because I'm a sore fucking loser. So I blocked them. Because it makes me it, it releases hormones or I don't know. It makes me feel better. But if they want to get unblocked, just let me know. I am literally the biggest sore loser to touch this game. And I'm honest about that. I'm first to admit it. Anyone with any Interaction with me in game, out of game. You were nice to JMO. Well, that guy was a bad person. So, twelve, twelve on the video. I've gone over th the entire video is done, bro. Go through the vod. Next tier list. I'll try to post it today. You ever have beef with Shiden? Oh yeah, the Shiden thing. So uh, Shiden and Rez are both like really weird people. Both really racist. I don't know if she didn't change his ways again. She didn't would go on boost and spam the N word. Uh, I'd play against them before he was Ido, Ido Daddy Black. He'd do a res and he, in the lobbies, he'd just spam the N word. Like not, not like one time, like like the, like the cat evolved thing basically. I don't know why it was maybe just like edgy humor for him at the time, or but I hate that guy regarding that at the time. But again, similar to me, you can move on with your life, become a better person. Like he's a pro player now. I assume he's been keeping on the down low. But at the time, that's what the Sheedan thing was. He it was disgusting towards me in game. I was probably bad to him, but I wouldn't resort to spamming the N-word to him. But yeah, I think that's uh That's pretty much it. I want to get more of your Saturdays. I'm gonna go uh, self-reflect and stuff, probably. Go to the gym shower. I was in the friend group. Only reason I asked, and I heard some things. That's why I asked. I went under a different name. What are you talking about? Oh, the Sheedan thing. No, I want a different account. I follow everyone. Like I follow Sweetheart too. I don't want to get her on stream just to start like a a Blaze Olive segment. But that guy should have been canceled years ago. That guy's a woman abuser. As far as she told me. I, I, I don't know his perspective, but I, I don't think she would lie about that. Because she didn't even, like, tag him on Twitter or, like, bring up his name. She just made a tweet longer a while ago. But again, sure, I'll go I'll go unblock Jamaican Banana and uh, Garbo Can because they all play Ivory and beat me in solo queue. Sorry, bro. Sorry for blocking you on Twitter because I'm, I'm petty. This is all in-game stuff where I'm a sore loser and it makes me feel better. I don't know if I have this guy blocked, but I probably do. Yeah. <laughs> I don't have any problems with these people out of game. Like, if I met them, I'd say, sorry, I'm a sore loser. And, yeah. You play fucking cancer champs to play against in jungle. That's why I'm a sore loser. It's like, imagine you play... Renekton top, Darius top, and this guy picks fucking Vayne top against you every game. Yeah, are you gonna lose your fucking mind, yes or no? Maybe. Maybe not. But I don't have any problems with these people out of game. Like, if I saw this person, I'm gonna be like, you're that fucking Ivern player, disgusting fucking loser. Look at your face, you're so fucking ugly. These are all in-game things. I say this shit in-game, and then I regret it after. I'm like, oh fuck, I shouldn't have said that. I let my emotion get the better of me. And that's why, recently... Block you. I've done... I've gone out of my way, which, I mean, I shouldn't have to go out of my way to act better, but... Yeah. I don't even have Shrin Fire blocked. Loopser is the guy in the video, follows me on Twitter now. By the way, just a little FYI. 
I apologize to him. I'm not sure if I have luck. But again, end of the day, bro. That's all I wanted to do. I'm, I'm sure Chase Jacobs is not going to respond all, to all of this and make a part two. I, I really do not care. I'm not going to respond to any of it because I've already done everything. I, at the end of the day, I'm just going to offer him a boxing match to settle this for charity. I don't know how we get into the process of that. Yo, hamburger, I think the tier three or not. I think all the guests again the other day. But yeah, any person in the world who will ever meet me, interact with me, off league, will always say the same thing. You are a different person. And that's something I want to translate to real life. Or sorry, in game. <laughs> because I think I'm not the only person who's very different in league than in real life. I remember you flamed Scrub New. Again, Scrub New and I always slim each other. We're both emotionally unstable in playing League. Like, we've, we're have we chill. The only issue with the boxing match is that since I'm a little man, there's a bit of a size uh, problem between us. You'll find $15. Thanks, bro. What's app DM leak next segment? <laughs> but yeah, again. It sucks. That I have to bring this up again. I want to stream a lot this weekend. I'll probably stream tomorrow. I'm going to put on my secret account today. Oh, fuck. I leaked out a secret account. Here we go. It's going to get started getting into it. People are already asking Team Chat Tarzan question mark. Let's just say that. So, yeah, I'll put on that account today. And then tomorrow, hopefully, I'll get to like 200 LP. And then I'll stream on that account. Get fucking griefed and fanboyed. And then lose my mind again. And then reform arc number 37. But now, I I've started to realize that it's so easy to climb nowadays. Like, who gives a fuck? If my accounts get into or griefed or sniped or every day, the same shit will happen no matter what. I just got to realize that. Bro, I streamed every day. I only missed yesterday because I was fixing my schedule. But yeah, this is the last call I make before I go. Again, if Chase Shaco brings up anything, he's going to respond to the video for, or respond to my VOD for sure because he's a fucking... A social climber. You guys want me to put on Patreon Tarzan? No, I'm... T bro, I don't want to play League right now. I'm, I just woke up. How tall are you? 5'11 and 3 quarters or a half? And I rounded up to 6. I'm insecure. But yeah, this is the last call I, I'm going to make before I go. Are there any other things? Poopy pants? Uh, sheet in thing? Anything else you want me to bring up? All the, the one tricks I flame in solo queue because I'm insecure. And I'm a loser. What are these? Is this Botox allegation a meme? Or I can't even tell. Is that a meme? Because I've so many people have said that. This has to be a meme. I thought that was a, the Tyler thing. So this is like a meme. What about the Botox allegations? What the fudge, man? I don't know, no, no. What's going on here? Botox allegations. What the hell, hell, hell? That's completely ridiculous. You like, like, like if... Julius Winston, his name was like Chubby Bear or some shit. He used to ghost people. Chubby Monkey or something? I don't remember. I've never met Dante's mom. He invited us to his house, starred us and I, but we never went because he never invited us again. Dom and I are chill. I have no problems. We don't talk, we don't interact, but we're fine. No, I've, niece is someone that I actually respect because he hasn't brought up anything after the situation. Whereas Chase Shaco. He copyright tricked me. Yeah, no fucking shit. Use 30 minutes of my fucking VOD without asking me. I mean, if your editor asked me, I'd probably say sure. Actually, no, I, I would say no. But I'd be nice about it, you know? But if you, if this guy wants to use my shit without my permission, yeah, I gotta copyright strike him because uh, he's living off my name and using my VOD without my permission. Again, the niece thing, I watch his YouTube videos and that's and subjective if you think that's uh, copyright material. I don't think it is. If it's on YouTube, it's not comparable to someone's stream, in my opinion. Because VODs on Twitch, you can hide them. Whereas YouTube, you just publish the VOD or the video. Twitch, you can hide your VODs. And I hide my VODs. And he used my content. He's not even a sub to my channel. Maybe his editor does. I don't know. But that's how I see that situation. And I dislike him. That's why I copyright striked him. In seven years, I've only copyright striked Master Fiend and... Uh, Chase Shaco. And I think I tried Dakar on that one video, and I think I lost. 
And not, that wasn't the win trade video, like I said earlier. It was something else. He used my entire VOD as well. Back then, copyright was different, too. I don't know the wave the Tempest allegation. Like, I was... Oh, okay, okay. Actually, wave of Tempest only used to boost with uh, seven years ago. And I'd, I'd DM the group at, like, 7 a.m. Who wants a duo? And he'd say, kill yourself, retarded, n-word, and shit like that. So he's a really weird dude. And he's randomly becomes my friend, randomly hates me, randomly shit talks me, just back and forth perma. So, yeah, he's kind of a weirdo, that's why I don't really, like, again, I've I've changed, I don't think he has, so I don't want to keep up with that guy. At all. Can't let the Yalex allegation slide. Fuck. Sorry, Alex. I, I'm sorry for calling you worthless, you're a good guy. Oh, yeah, he used that word, like, hmm. and let's say a fucking hourly basis, not even daily. Are we in queue? No, I'm going, I'm heading out. I'm gonna go gym, shower. I woke up, like, two hours ago to do this shit, because, uh, Mr. Social Climb Cheerleader. I don't know if the Orbit DMs are on if you're fucking trolling. Who would you say your friends in the scene besides Dantes and Duo King? Um, and Tyler's a, a person I, I hold really highly. I got really highly regarded as a friend because he's a very respectable person. He's a good person, outer league, in league, and I've had good interactions with him, but I don't really talk to him much. He doesn't really respond, so. I would have brought him on stream, but I doubt he cares about shit like this, just for him to give his perspective on the, uh, me begging him to pick me. <laughs> Does that even sound like me? Because I'm like the most egotistical person when it comes to the league. I think I'm always right. Why would I beg someone to pick me for their team? LS? LS and I are good, huh? The only thing is with LS is I've gone to Korea three times. I still haven't met him. So if we go in October, I'd love to. But the problem is everyone in Korea is getting banned right now. So I don't even know if we can. Like, Post the uh, TF Blade situation, I'm pretty sure Viper got banned. I think Scrub Noob got banned. LS got banned for like his uh, winter theme or whatever. But yeah, TF Blade's like me. We're both Persian. We're both sort of losers. We're both very competitive. We do stuff. We say stuff we don't mean. But I think TF Blade is way more personal than I am. I'm just unstable. Does that make sense? Like TF Blade, I think makes. Does he make it more personal or? Do, I don't even know. I can't say. I actually, don't, I'm not even like 100% on that topic. You're possessive. Wait, we got we to gotta read this out loud. You're possessive mentally. When L matured, heart stuck like you're possessive. If 15 is important for you, you're possessive. 28 years old, FFS man, do better. Well, Norse player, I'm going to press this button here and let you know. I, did, I think they did pretty good today. I think I responded pretty well. I'll add people vouch for me. I didn't beg them. I wanted their unbiased opinion because at the end of the day, my goal is to become a better person. Whether or not I'm 15 or 28, I can become a better person every day of my life and so can you. So, you aren't Persian. No, I'm 86% 80, Persian, 12% Turkish. Other 2% is like Indian, Pakistani or something. I don't remember. Uh, Mongolian? I don't know. What, what the fuck am I? One second. DNA 28 and me. What am I? This account is locked for excessive password. I just tried one time. Yes, I'm 12% Turkish. Oh shit, I found it ancestry all right hopefully i didn't lie about this as well because people uh mr chase shake will probably say i lied about my ethnicity too because i have called someone a turkish dog before but i'm turkish so i'm allowed to do that anatolian 12 percent turkish the fuck persian iranian same shit man 84% Iranian, Caucasian, Mesopota Mesopotamian? 11... Wait, is it... I'm only 11% Turkish? Oh. 
Then I'm like 1% Indian, Pakistani, 0.2, whatever the fuck, Central Asian. And yeah. So. I'm a part of this region in the world. What is this? This is like Mongolia? I don't This is Russia. This is Europe. No, Europe's to the left. This is Asia. Yeah, I'm 1% Indian. Butter Chicken's a movie. Alright, I'm gonna call it here, guys. Thank you for your time. Sorry about all this. Um, tomorrow, we might go crazy. Thank you all the subs. Thank you for the resubs. Sorry I didn't get to, like, actually thank you. But, yeah. So, if anyone ever brings up the Chase Shaco PowerPoint, he's the victim. I'm the victim. I'm cosplaying the victim. Well, hopefully, I uh, clarify things for you. And, again, at the end of the day, our goal as people should be to better ourselves. I, I know for a fact I'm better myself. I've changed the person. I still have a lot of work to do regarding the in-game stuff. But out of game stuff, I'm pretty keen that I have, uh, yeah. So hopefully Chase Shaco one day can get a life and do the same thing with him. Have a good week.